What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and good morning. It is nine o'clock in the morning here. I just woke up a little bit ago, got a shower, and I'm getting ready to get my day started. To give you a little bit of backstory, right? I am 40 days out from vacation. I need to hit the beach in 40 days, looking my best, going with a bunch of friends, and we're all kind of competing to see who can get the leanest by the time we get there. So I've made myself a new meal plan. Now, this meal plan, the emphasis is gonna be on simplicity, ease of prep, but also to hitting my micronutrient goals, macronutrient goals, just being an overall healthy meal plan that I can follow that's really gonna shed the fat off of me. So my goal today is to share exactly what I have programmed out for myself with you guys. Keep in mind, everybody's different. Everybody has different macronutrient goals, calorie goals, activity levels, stuff like that. So my exact plan might not work specifically for you, but you can do little tweaks to it and really adjust it to your preference. So if you guys are ready to see how I plan on dropping the weight, getting lean and mean over the course of the next 40 days so I can be beach body ready, then pay attention because I'm gonna show you every single thing I do today. Are you ready? Let's do it. guys and one of the first things I do immediately upon waking is I get about 12 to 16 ounces of water in a water bottle and make sure I drink this first thing in the morning. What that's going to do, your body loses a lot of water while you sleep. And if you're even partially dehydrated, your metabolism is downregulated and won't be running at optimal speed. So the first thing you should do every morning is get a nice tall glass of water. Now I tend to mix some of my supplements up for the day in this drink. That way I kind of get them knocked out. My multivitamins, my fish oil, stuff like that. I am a big proponent of fasting. So this drink here, what this does, gets some breast chain aminos in my system. That way when my body is looking for fuel, it is either going to go for muscle on me or fat on me to burn. But if you have branch chain aminos, in your system in abundance, it's gonna prioritize that fat loss overtaking any of your hard-earned muscles. So what I usually do in this is I'll take a couple scoops here of pure aminos. Love this company, amazing stuff here, guys. Basically, it's caffeinated branch chains. I take this in place of my coffee and I will put it in my first drink. Now, little disclaimer, I am sponsored by these guys. I took the products long before I was ever sponsored, so that's pretty cool. If you wanna get yourself a bag of these, I wanna say it is 60 servings for like $30 shipped to your door. You go to purebolics.com, use code RJF10 at checkout to save you a little bit of money. So yeah, put those in here. Nice, there we go. All right guys, so morning drink is concocted. Let me show you the other ingredients that are in this. So what I do, like I said, I put my branch chain aminos in there. I'm using currently Razzle Dazzle here by Pure Aminos, so awesome flavor. Get those branch chains in our system. Like I said, I have tons of videos on fasting if you want more information on why that's beneficial, but yeah, got those in there. I also throw a little bit of creatine in my morning drink. Then I also do, right now I'm running a fat burner. This is rule one, lean five. There's no caffeine in this one, which is kind of why I prefer it personally. You're not getting a bunch of caffeine to really just stim you out for the day, but it's got everything you need in it. Your Garcinia, Cambodia, L-carnitine, raspberry ketones, green tea extract, ECT, all proven fat loss benefits. I'm not saying this makes or breaks fat loss, but every little bit can help. So I take this in there as well. And then also too, I can't forget, I put a little bit of fiber in here to just kind of help the system keep everything running efficiently. So a little bit of fiber in there as well. So yeah, guys, nothing too crazy. This would technically be, I don't want to say this is meal number one. There's not really any calories in this, but uh, this is how you want to start your day off, guys. Mm. Mm. Tastes good too. Gets my day started off on the right foot. And you know, I fast. And to give you a quick little rundown, I know some of you guys might be new to my channel. You might not understand how I do things. I, f I do intermittent fasting. I practice that. To give you a quick little rundown of what intermittent fasting is, essentially, I only have an eight hour eating window every day, right? So I have 16 hours out of the day where I don't eat anything and I cram all my food into eight hours. Typically that falls between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. at night, which means I won't eat anything today until 2 p.m. Only thing in my system will be some water, branch chain aminos, and whatever little supplements I have in here to kind of speed my metabolism up and keep me going. Now, I've noticed the biggest game changer when it came to me following my diet was implementing intermittent fasting. So I have tons of videos on on my channel. So if you want more information, you can find it. I just wanted to touch on that real quick and why I do this. I get a lot of comments, people asking me a lot of questions after I make a video. So I like to be as thorough as possible when I'm doing this stuff. So anyways, this is my morning and it is now about roughly 9.30, 9.40. So I'm gonna go ahead, get some work done and then break my fast at 2 p.m. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'll come back and I'm gonna show you how I prep my meals, how I consume literally everything throughout the course of the day. So stay tuned, I think you might learn a thing or two. So I will see you guys here in a little bit. All right guys, it is officially time to break my fast. So we're gonna get started with meal number one and I'm gonna show you exactly how I prepare it. Let's do it. 
Meal number one is gonna be some egg whites and some green bell peppers. Now I have frozen green bell peppers here. For me personally, that makes my life a little more convenient given that I don't have to worry about veggies going bad. So I have frozen ones here. I'll show you how we implement those, but we're gonna do this in sour container of egg whites, about 50 grams of protein here. You could swap this out if you wanted to with a two scoop isolate protein shake, but I prefer to eat my calories. So let me show you how we do this. So very simple guys. First thing I do is I get some butter flavored cooking spray and I'm gonna go ahead and coat my pan with it. Just real quick, give it a nice even coating. That way this doesn't stick. There we go. And the next thing I'm gonna do, open up my egg whites here. These containers are so convenient guys. I'm not a fan of taking the eggs and removing the yolks. I would rather just do it this way. So dump this in here and there we go. So we're gonna let that sit now. I will go ahead and open up my bag of green bell peppers here. You can use whatever peppers you like. You can pair another veggie with it if you want. I just find this helps add micronutrients, some fiber, and overall just a little better flavor to this. So I just take the frozen ones and dump them in here. Now that's one thing. I usually approximate about half of the bag. There we go, which is what I will assume this is. And then when I'm tracking it in MyFitnessPal for the macros, I'll just go on the nutrition label, scan it so it goes in, and then I count my macros that way. And then all I'm gonna add to this for a little extra flavor is some of this salt-free zesty seasoning here. So I'll just take some of this, keeping sodium low, putting a little bit in here. Boom, guys, and that's it. So all I do now is I have it on medium heat, I'm gonna cover it, and we're gonna wait on this to finish. And while we're waiting on our egg whites to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and start multitasking and prepping our sweet potatoes we were gonna need later. So let me show you what I'm working with here. We got sweet potatoes I picked up at the supermarket. So go ahead, take them out of this bag. And then the way I like to cook sweet potatoes, you can do them however you want to. I find the easiest way is to put them in my little steamer here and steam them. As you can see, water down in here, steam tray here. I'll go ahead and take my sweet potatoes, place them in the steam tray, and then let me see if I can fit all these in there. Boom, and there we go. Four sweet potatoes in there. I'll go ahead and close this up. Now you can bake them, do whatever you want, but I'm making sweet potato mash. So I find the easiest way to do this is when they are steamed. So I'll go here, turn this on. Now I can set a steam time if I want, but I find the amount of time it takes to cook white rice will steam these through perfectly. So I'll just hit the preset white rice button or steam for about 30, 40 minutes and that'll do the trick. So these are gonna sit here and steam and then they'll be done soon. All right guys, it's been about seven minutes or so and this is done. Let me go ahead and put it on the plate. There we go, nice. Meal number one is served. All right guys, this is gonna be meal number one here. We have ourselves an egg white omelet. It's gonna equate to 50 grams of protein and seven grams of carbohydrates in this. So good way to start the day off. Nice, lean food source here. Those green peppers really help add some micronutrients and a little bit of fiber to our meal number one as well. So normally what I would do if I wasn't at home, I could go ahead and Tupperware this up and reheat it later and it would still be good. So yeah, guys, that's meal number one on my plan. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna start getting meal number two ready and I'm gonna keep on updating you guys with what we got going on. So stay tuned guys, we'll keep this show rolling. All right guys, some time has passed. Let's check on these sweet potatoes. Nice. Go ahead and turn this off and these are done. Yep, nice and soft, right how we want them. Perfect. So we're gonna let those cool off for a little bit and we're gonna get started on getting our next set of meals prepped. All right guys, so what we have here, I'm gonna go ahead and do 99% lean ground turkey breast. This is gonna make up the protein in meal number two and my final meal of the day. So we're gonna go ahead and knock two of the meals out right now. We're gonna use one pound of this. This is gonna give me roughly eight ounces per meal of lean white protein. Now you can sub this out for chicken breast, tilapia, cod, really any other white meat that you can find. It's going to macro out to about the same. I prefer this because it's easy and convenient and I love turkey burgers. So I'm using that. And then for veggies, we're also going to split this up over two meals. I'm using cut Italian green beans. Now you can also use broccoli, asparagus. There's other veggies, some more beneficial to you than green beans. It just so happens that I love the flavor of these. And right now that's kind of what I want to do. So we're going to be prepping these as well. These are steam bags. So you just throw them in the microwave for about six minutes and they're good to go. So that's gonna cover both of our meals as well. And we're gonna be cooking the turkey breast in coconut oil. So we're gonna use about 30 grams of this, give them a lot of awesome flavor, give us some healthy fats. The benefits of coconut oil are astounding. If you don't know what those are, Google it, I'm telling you, it's good stuff. And then to season this right here, we're gonna be using some tastefully simple seasoned salt. 
I eat well, this stuff's really good. I just don't wanna use too much of it because it's a little higher in sodium, but this diet's pretty clean, so we're not too worried about that. And then once we get those on there to add even extra flavor without the sodium, we're gonna add some zesty blend garlic herb salt-free seasonings. So, let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and open our ground turkey breast here. Now typically what I will do is I will just kind of prepare everything right here in this little container, as in adding my seasonings, getting it pattied up, but this is a video, so I'll go ahead and grab a plate and we'll do it the more professional way. Boom, got ourselves a plate. Now I will go ahead and take the ground turkey breast, put it right here. And then what I like to do usually is go ahead and get my seasonings and throw them on top. So we'll put a little bit of that on there. And then we're gonna take our salt-free seasoning. I go a little overboard with this to really help with flavor because I know we're not getting much sodium in there. So we go ahead and got our seasonings on there. Now there might be a better way to season these, but this is just how I do it. Bro cooking 101. So I kind of get in here and just mix it all up and kind of let it uh, soak completely through. I'm not one to just season the outside. I think when you do it this way, it kind of gives it a uh, flavor that lasts clear within the entire piece while you eat it instead of just kind of being maybe in the first bite or on the outside. So, okay, we got these mixed up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them into two different patties. Nice, and then finish up with this one, making sure we're not leaving any of this turkey to waste. We want this protein, guys. The more protein you have in your diet, the better. Protein being the most thermogenic of the macronutrients. So, the more protein you eat, the harder your body has to work to break it down and digest it. So the more calories you ultimately expend just by hanging out and being your lovely self. Okay, so we have these pattied out and good. So now once again, we're gonna be using the same skillet to cook these in. I like to hit it with a little bit of cooking spray, even though we're adding coconut oil, just to uh, make sure we don't have it stick initially or go too bad when I put these burgers in here. So we're gonna go ahead and take our turkey burgers here, boom, place it in the skillet. And I have been preheating my pan, by the way. I find that that just helps the entire process go a little quicker. So those are in our pan. Now what I'm gonna do is grab my coconut oil here. And I'm gonna weigh out 30 grams, cause that's what it takes to fit my macros. So 30 grams of coconut oil here, tear the scale out to zero. Perfect, get in here, get a nice big spoon. All right guys, boom, we have ourselves 30 grams of coconut oil here. So what I do now is just take this coconut oil, add it here in the pan. There we go, any that uh, doesn't go in, I'll just kinda <laughs> Use my mouth and eat, I guess. And then what I like to do, cover them now. Nice. And now that they're covered, once that coconut oil kind of melts all the way in there, I'll shake the pan around a little bit to kind of let it soak in. And then mainly there, it's a waiting game with a couple flips. All right, now that the coconut oil is melted, at this point, I will take it, just kind of move it around a little bit, let it soak up in there. And we're gonna wait, it's about six minutes each side to cook this all the way through. So now we're gonna start the multitasking. Now I've went ahead and grabbed a Tupperware container here. And then what I'm gonna do is place my sweet potato potatoes in it. Now I already had sweet potatoes prepped. I just wanted to show you guys how I prepped these myself. So these I'm just going to store and I'm going to use the ones I've already prepped. I'll show you that in a second. But if you look here, grab myself a fork and then we're going to take our fork here and you can press down on these, right? And see how it just mashes like that? That's why I really like steaming them guys. It makes this super easy. So it depends. I eat the skin sometimes. Some people don't eat the skin. Eh, personal preference. I don't mind really. But uh, push these down in here and then that's how you make your mashed sweet potatoes, my friends. Super simple. Get yourself a vegetable steamer slash rice cooker. Makes this whole process a hundred times easier. All right, guys. The next thing we're going to do is take our green beans here and throw them in the microwave for the steam bag. So what's the say on this? The time is, there we go, seven minutes. So put it in there face down, close it, put it on for seven minutes and go. Nice. So that's cooking while that's cooking. And then I'm still finishing up my sweet potatoes over here. So we got multiple things going at one time. Definitely the way to do it. So like I said, this is gonna basically make meal two for us and the final meal of the day. We're doing both preps at the same time now. You can take this, right? And you can expand upon it. You can do most of the ingredients out prep a lot more at once if you want. Typically though, I work from home given that uh, my job is being an online personal trainer and a YouTuber. So I can just kind of make this stuff every day. But you can obviously, you know, expand upon this and do as much as you want for as much as you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff sorted up and I'll check in here in a second and I'll show you the macros and everything for meal number two. All right, guys, everything's cooking. Time to check these turkey burgers. Whoa. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and press them down a little bit. And then after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and give these guys a good old flip. Whoop, nice, whoop, nice. Okay, and then I like to take it and run it through the coconut oil. That way, it soaks up as much of that flavor as possible. All right, perfect. Go ahead, recover them. I apologize if that was loud. 
and we are well on our way. All right, guys, I just wanna give you a rough idea here. These just came out of the microwave, and I'm dumping them in here. So we're gonna use this container to store our ground turkey burger meal for meal five for later, and then I'm gonna put everything on this plate to eat right now. So just giving you an update on how these work. Super convenient, super easy, just boom, you're done. Dump it in there, dump it on here, good to go. Eating your veggies, getting your fiber, micronutrients has never been easier. All right guys, we just finished prepping these meals. Let me show you what we're working with. All right, check it out guys. Getting ready to eat this one here. We got our turkey burger, green beans, and sweet potato. You might wonder what that black stuff is. Since I'm macroing in all the oils from the pan, I go ahead and just kind of dump the extra oil on top of the meal I'm about to eat. Really helps add a lot of flavor, so that's what I do. And then we got this meal we're gonna consume here later on, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the lid on it. Ah, there we go. We will take it, place it in our fridge here. Oh, here's another thing to you guys. Stay stocked up on good stuff. We have ground turkey, we got eggs, sweet potatoes prepped up there, butter I've had forever, some chicken in case we want it. Keep your fridge stocked that way when you, oh, <laughs> egg whites, that way, you never run out of healthy options. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this meal here real quick. Now, let me go over the macros with you. Okay, guys, in this meal, we have approximately 17 grams of fat. We have 56 grams of protein and 33 grams of carbs, but we are also getting eight grams of fiber. So that's really beneficial to our goals. And then overall, it's about 541 calories. So very healthy, nutritious, filling meal here, but not a lot of calories. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I will check in with you guys in a little bit for meal number three. Oh, real quick, guys, I just wanted to check in. I'm eating this meal still here, but I wanted to show you something real quick. Jalapeno mustard, right? This is one of my favorite condiments. Adds so much flavor to bland food. It's like go-to for me. So typically, I'll throw it on almost every meal I eat because I think it tastes amazing. You're not getting extra calories. You gotta be careful with a lot of seasonings and sauces you put on stuff. A lot of them have hidden sugar, hidden calories that you're not really thinking about. So I've had, I've had clients personally that are wondering whether or not making any progress. And I'm like, okay, we'll write down everything you eat in a day. They're like, well, I follow your plan. I'm like, okay, we'll just write it down. They come back and they're like, well, I use this sauce, sriracha. Every serving of sriracha has a gram of sugar. I use this, I use this. I'm like, okay, that is where the problem lies. So anyways, I just didn't want to leave any good info out of here. Jalapeno mustard I love. Just make sure you're checking the nutrition labels of everything you're eating. I'll be back. All right, guys, back again with meal number three. Now, this isn't so much a whole meal as it really is kind of like what I like to refer to as a snack meal. Just something little to hold me over, to boost my protein intake for the day and keep me on point. This meal can be a variety of different things. Now, it can be four ounces of white meat. It can be a protein shake. But what I've been doing here lately and what I plan on doing throughout the entirety of it is just doing a can of wild caught chunk light tuna. In this entire can, there's only one gram of fat and 26 grams of protein. So that's four ounces of tuna right there. I can usually snack on this, or if I'm in a hurry, I can take either my BPI ISO HD protein or my new breed Myoblast, which is the best tasting protein I've ever had. Cinnamon French toast, a scoop of that, mixed in here with some water, shake it up and drink it. But like I said, any four ounces or 112 grams of any other white meat or lean protein will work. So there's not really a whole lot of uh, substance to this meal, but that's the thing about following a meal plan, right? And the thing about this for me, the biggest thing is convenience. I wanna be able to grab this stuff and go if I need to. And I don't wanna spend a lot of time doing complex, crazy dishes. I just wanna be able to get my nutrition in, go about my day and keep making progress towards my goals. So. The reason, by the way, if you aren't familiar with nutrition or whatever, the reason why I keep protein so high, I know I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but it's the most thermogenic of the macronutrients. Your body has an extremely hard time breaking it down. So in turn, you, you actually expel calories trying to digest it. Whereas with a gram of fat, there is zero thermogenic effect. And with carbohydrates, there's only a tiny little trace amount. So, And the other thing about having a lot of protein in your diet is that the more protein you are consuming, your body is more likely to use the fat on you for fuel instead of the muscle. In turn, I like to get at least my body weight and and then some of protein per day. I do about 1.4 to 1.5 times my body weight in protein grams a day. So just a uh, quick little reason there why I keep protein so high. If you're weight training, you absolutely need protein in order to grow your muscles. So I always recommend a high protein diet. I think it's very beneficial for a multitude of reasons, weight loss, muscle retention, whatever your goal is. So anyways, that is meal number three and the exact macros for it. If we're doing the tuna, like I said, one gram of fat, we have 26 grams of protein, no carbohydrates. So boom, super simple, super easy, knock it out. I will go ahead and check in with you guys for meal number four. All right, guys, I am back with meal number four here. Now, real quick, Team Dry Scoop shirts. If you are been following my channel, you know we ordered these a little while ago. They are now available at rjfitapparel.com. As of today, as of like 
30 minutes ago. So if you're watching this in the future, we'll probably still have some, but if you are watching this present time, as opposed to these are available now, limited quantities, get in there, get you one, two, 30 even, I don't care, grab yourself some because these shirts are awesome. Anyways, guys, let's get to this meal. So real quick, guys, meal number four for me is basically gonna be just six large eggs. Nothing crazy about it. So I'm gonna go ahead, break these up, put them in the bowl. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and take these eggs and slowly put them in my bowl here, eliminating the waste. Now, I'm a huge fan of eggs, guys. Eggs got a bad rap for a while because they said they raised your cholesterol and stuff, but no studies have been shown proving that. Ugh, get this <laughs> shell out of there. See, so yeah, don't be scared of eggs, guys. I eat six eggs every single day. Very cheap, very convenient, healthy source of fats, proteins, and all around, I think eggs are just incredible. You can make omelets, scramble them up. I prefer to scramble mine quick and easy. Plus two, some people are weird about reheating eggs. Eggs are totally fine reheated. I have done that. Ooh, so, so much. Now that I work from home, it's not something I do all the time because I can just make them here real quick, but okay, hands clean. Now what I like to do with these to make them better, I'm gonna go ahead and do, once again, Zesty Blend Original Salt-Free Seasonings. I like to throw it in here with my eggs. And then I'll also take two, I got some ground cumin, 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce that. All I know is that it's good. And I'll put a dash of it in here as well. So I've been letting my pan preheat. That's something I always stress because it just takes so much time out of this. So this has been preheating while I was cracking the eggs. Let's see how this works. See, we throw it in there, already starts cooking. And a lot of times I even preheat it for longer than this. That way, literally you take it in, you can cook your eggs in like two minutes. But I'm gonna go in here, mix them up, and I haven't cleaned this pan from where I cooked the uh, ground turkey. So we're gonna soak some of that flavor up as well. Now, I did just cook the turkey not that long ago, but I guess I don't recommend doing that if it's been days, because that just means you're just not doing your dishes. All right, see how quick this is scrambling? My key with making scrambled eggs and making them good is to stay with them. Don't sit them in here and go do anything else. Just kind of stay here, stir them up as you go, and they will turn out nice, fluffy, and good tasting. So if you haven't had eggs in a while, give eggs a shot because this is personally one of my favorite foods that I eat throughout the course of the day. All right, that was quick and easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my Tupperware container. Being careful not to make a mess here. Easy to do, guys, it's easy to do. All right, make sure we get every last little bit. I don't like any of my nutrition going to waste. There we go. And check this out. These are done. Now they're a little browner than normal, simply because, like I said, I used the ground turkey pan and threw it in there. So there's a little bit of the residues there, but I think it makes it taste really good. So I'm gonna go ahead. It's not quite time to eat this yet. I just wanted to get this meal prepared and good. So got her sealed up. We can now add it to the collection. Nice. And then the macros for meal number four is essentially just 28 grams of fat and 37 grams of protein. Now, you may see a trend here that my diet is very low carbohydrate. I keep this diet, I wanna say, we're gonna calculate everything at the end, but it's around 75 to 80 grams of carbs a day. That's just enough to refill my muscle glycogen stores, keep my workouts good, enough to not feel absolutely miserable throughout the day, but not too much as to slow down my fat loss and knock me off the track towards my goals. So. Good meal there, like I said, six large eggs. Nothing crazy, guys. I, like I said, I'm focusing on ease of use and simplicity here, so I will check back with meal number five. All right, and it is time for the final meal, meal five on my beach body, summer shredding meal plan. So, uh, is there any guess? Does anybody have any guesses? If you have a good guess as to what this meal is, comment below. <laughs> uh, if you've been paying attention, then you already know. Check it out, guys, we have, whoop, open you up, boom. Does this look familiar? <laughs> yeah, we prepped it earlier. So, this would be the final meal. Now, I'm not eating it now, because it is not time yet for this meal, but I just kind of wanted to get this video out and show you guys what was up. So. Final meal here, macros are still the same. We have eight ounces of 99% lean ground turkey. We have approximately half the bag of green beans. I wanna say that's like 150 grams, something like that. I just go by the bags, guys. So I wanna say that's what it is. And then four ounces or 112 grams of sweet potatoes. So yeah, nothing too crazy here, guys. As you've seen it, this meal plan is pretty easy to prep. Pretty easy to follow because it doesn't require a lot of different stuff. It's pretty simple, it's pretty cut and dry. So. This is gonna make it super easy for me to follow this, way easier for me to implement it, and way easier for me to hit my target goals instead of just trying to wing it every day and uh, end up falling short. So, meal number five. 
All right, guys, so that was officially my beach body ready meal plan. You know, I wanted to share that with you guys. That way you could see, one, what I was doing for the next however many days until vacation, and two, you can see that meal prep does not have to be this crazy complex process similar to brain surgery. It can literally be comprised of foods you enjoy, quick, easy, simple to make, without all the headache that comes with some of these other programs I see people on. So super simple, super easy. It's gonna get me results and accomplish what I wanted to accomplish, which would be the most important part, right? I think your food should still taste good, but ultimately we are eating for performance, not necessarily for flavor. But I find once you drop all the sugar and all the crap out of your diet, that this stuff actually ends up tasting really good. So I legitimately enjoy every meal I eat throughout the course of the day. And that is not a lie. So anyways, guys, that is going to wrap, wrap up this video. But real quick, before I go, I'm gonna show you the macros that are in that. So the whole meal plan for the whole day, right? I'm officially at 1,924 calories throughout the course of the day. And then macronutrient wise, that puts us at roughly 63 grams of fat, 226 grams of protein, and 76 grams of carbs with 16 grams of fiber. So not too bad at all, guys. Not too bad. So my calories, I could probably afford to go a little higher than that given my activity levels and how much cardio I do. But for those of you, if this is the first time you've seen my channel, I also do eating challenges on the weekends. So I go try to break records. I'm working on becoming a competitive eater. And uh, you know, I, it's a lot of calories I consume on the weekends. So basically I gotta balance this out in accordance with my eating challenges. That way I'm still making gains while not letting my physique get too crazy. So anyways, guys, anyways, Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you as always for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If it's your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button. I got new videos coming out all the time, content very similar to this. And go to the rjfitapparel.com and get you one of these if you're watching, because these shirts are dope. Look at that, look at that. My biceps grew like three inches since I put this thing on. That is not a lie. <laughs> okay, maybe it is. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you as always for your support. And remember, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. With that, I'm out of here. This has been a Remington James production. I will see you guys at the next video. See you guys.